Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you today? Everything's good. And you? Very well as well. Thank you for asking and welcome to the class. We're going to wait just a few minutes for the other classmates to come in. Okay. Good evening, welcome. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Very well, and you? Very well. It's nice. it's a last night. True. Yeah. Today is the very last class of this uh, level, so let's enjoy. Well, I am studying all of the irregular verbs. That is a very good idea. I mean, verbs are very important, and all. I mean, the present, the past, the past participle, all is important because you are going to use them not only for these tenses, but also for the future, uh, for other things that are coming. So it's a very good idea. Yeah. Congratulations on that. Thanks, you. Good. Okay, everybody, welcome to our last night together, at least for now. And... Uh, First question is, anybody has finished? Everybody has finished the platform, right? A nadie le falta nada de la plataforma, Daniel. Ok. Teacher, cuando, si el examen final es lo último, no yes. tengo que hacer nada de confirmación ni nada. Eh, no, lo que puede hacer para ver si está todo correcto es irse a ver al final en el gráfico a ver si el examen final pues está ahí, ¿verdad? Si está al 100% que se finalizó. Si está ahí, everything is fine. Y solo pues le restaría imprimir el certificado o descargarlo. And that's it. Ah, está bien. Ah, pues sí. Very good. Está al 100%. Very good. So that is it. Anyways, uh, we're going to... Vamos a revisar rapidín la plataforma. Just in case, right? Because this is our last class and we want to be sure that everything is fine. So... We haven't checked the unit five. We are going to do that right away. Uh, let's see. Josue, could you please help me reading this objective? Okay. Um, the future tense is what we use to discuss our plans and hopes. In this lesson, learn how to use going to and will to convert a statement to a future. 
tense. English teach Joe Science explains this two different ways to talk about the future plans step by step using a simple formula. Ask and answer questions using going to and will as auxiliary verbs and practice this discussing your future plans. For example, an upcoming vacation, holidays with family or even your plans for later in the day. Very good. And so this is like the first activity is for the whole lesson. Uh, do you remember what are hops? Hops. It says plants and hops. What is hop? I hope you know. Esperanza. Something like that, yeah. So plants and hops. And the other one that I was checking here was upcoming. What is upcoming? Here is the word. Upcoming. Something that is coming in the future. Very good. So this was the first one. And then, of course, we have the video with the explanation about be going to and will. We checked that already. And then, of course, there is like a knowledge check um, about this uh, little reading that we have here. Some conversations. We're not going to check into that one. Uh, any questions about this knowledge check that we had? All right, you're finished. Okay. And then we have a listening. Oh, well, this is the final exam. So that is it, right? <laughs> the final exam, it was with the listening. That was, I guess, not that difficult. After the listening, we have some vocabulary part where we can uh, choose the right option about this one. Any questions with this part? No questions. Okay, let's move on. The next one is enough and not enough. So we checked that a while ago when we have enough buses but not enough of some other things. Enough and not enough. Questions about this? Okay, here is the one enough and not enough. And then we have as many or as much. Do you remember that part? Questions about this? No. Then we have wish. How to wish something. Well, actually we check a lot of wishes grammar, but in this case it was just one, all right? Questions about this part? No. Very good. And of course, apart for the simple past versus present perfect. Everything was fine here, right? Yes. Good. Then we have the future will and going to. That was going well, right? And uh, we had uh, the reading comprehension. Well, we read uh, a little paragraph and then we had to select an option. Questions about this? Okay. So everything is perfect then. Everybody has a hundred and everybody is going to continue in the next level. Okay. We are going to continue with some activities just to finish what uh, we have here scheduled. Let's say. Okay, we're going to start with a little reading that we have here. This is kind of easy and it's interesting because we have together both the simple present and the present continuous. Okay, so um, I guess we're going to repeat first so we can check maybe some vocabulary or some pronunciation. Um, let's repeat, please. Brian is a doctor. Brian. Brian is a doctor. Brian. 
he looks after sick people. He looks after sick people. He usually gets up at six o'clock. He usually gets up at six o'clock. Today he is late. Today he is late. It is six thirty and he's still in bed. It is six thirty and he's still in bed. He usually goes to work by train. He usually goes to work by train. By train. But today he is driving to work. But today he is driving to work. He arrives at work at 6.30 every morning, but it is 7.30 now and he is still driving. He arrives arrive at 6.30 every, every morning, morning, but it is 7.30 30 now and he is still driving. It is 12 o'clock now. It's 12, it 12 o'clock now. now. He always has his lunch at 12, but today he isn't having lunch at 12. He always has he his always lunch has his at lunch 12, but today he, he is having lunch bed. at 12. He's, he is looking after his sick patients. He is He's looking, looking after, after his, his sick, sick patients. patients. It is half past seven now. It is half, it is past, half seven past seven now. now. Brian is watching TV. Brian is Brian watching TV. Is Brian is watching TV. TV. He usually watches TV at half past seven because his favorite program starts at half past seven. He usually he watches usually TV, watch at, TV half at half past seven, past seven because his favorite program will start at, at half, half past, past seven. seven. Brian has his dinner at 8.30 every day. Brian has his dinner at 8.30 every day. Every day. And, he's and, he's had and he's having dinner now. And and he's he's having, dinner, having now. dinner now. It is 24 now. Brian is going to bed. It is 24 it, now. It is 24 Brian now. Bed. Brian is going to bed. He always goes to bed at 24. He always goes, goes to bed, to bed at, 24. at 24. Good. So um, maybe the first question is what is to look after? He looks after sick people. What is that? I think it's some kind of look uh, like take care, something not exactly, but it's similar. That is like that, yeah, it's taking care. So you can say, for example, my mom looks after me. So it means that she is taking care of me, something like that. Nice. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, driving every morning. That is not many things here. Uh, um, well, 24 in this case is like midnight because it's military time, right? So it's 24. Uh, I don't think we have any other question. Do you have any question about this? No. Okay, we're not going to read because this is kind of basic, but we're going to do this exercise. What does Brian do? Does Brian know? He is a doctor. He is a doctor. Good. What time does he usually get up? Uh, he usually get, get up at 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. Good. And how does he usually go to work? Um, he usually goes to work by train. He goes... Very good. By yeah. train. And then, uh, why is he driving to work today? Why is he driving to work today? Why? Mm, because he's driving. Mm, but the question is, why is he driving to work today? Mm. Ah, because today he's today late. He's dry, he's dry. That's the answer. He's late. Sometimes the answer is not going to be there in the paragraph, in the reading. Sometimes mm -hmm. there are some questions to check if you understood. This is that kind of question. This is like, why is he driving today? Oh, because he's late. Okay. 
Okay, also remember that if you don't find the information in the paragraph, the answer is going to be false, if it's true or false. So the other one says, what time does he arrive at work every day? 6.30. Good, at 6.30. And then it says, um, when does he always have his lunch? Yeah, at 12. At 12 o'clock. Very good, at noon. The other one it says, uh, what is he doing at 12 today? He's looking after his patients. Uh, good. He's looking after his sick patients. Nice. Okay, uh, why does he usually watch TV at 7.30? Because his favorite program starts at half past seven. Very good. He always does that because his favorite uh, program starts at that time, at 7.30. Good. The other one says, um, what time does he go to bed? Time. Um... He's going to bed. 24. It's 24. 24. 24. Midnight. Very good. And just the last uh, part is going to be this one. We have here a sentence. And um, it's very easy. I mean, as you can see, this exercise it was interesting because we were using both the simple present and the uh, present progressive or continuous in the same uh, way for routines and for things that we do in the moment. So this one, uh, Susan usually, how is it gonna be? Susan usually- Bus to school. Go to school by bus, but now? She is going to school by train. That is it. Oh. Yeah, that is it. Very easy. And with that part, we finish that little activity and we're going to remember a little bit about present perfect and simple past, right? So, on the first uh, part, the present perfect is used to express unfinished events that started in the past and continue to the present. For example, I have lived in Paris for five years. That means that I still live in Paris, right? On the other hand, we use uh, the simple past to express finished events. My son was sick on Monday. That means that my son isn't sick now. It finishes. So that is clear, right? That is something that we checked already. The other part it says it is used to express finished events in someone's life. If the person is still alive, it's a life experience. For example, he has never traveled by plane. He is alive, right? On the other hand, it is used to express finished events in someone's life if the person is dead. For example, he traveled a lot by plane. And he's oh. dead. So that is something that we haven't checked, but this is very common as well. Okay? If he's alive, we're going to use the present perfect because that person can do the action in the future. That can change. But in the simple past, uh, past I mean, it's not possible because he's dead already. He's not going to do that anymore. Okay, the other one it says is to express finished events that happened in the past and the impact of the event is now continuing. For example, we can reach Paul by phone. Have you seen him? So right now we're still looking for that one. We don't know where he is and the action it was to call him, but we are still looking for him. On the other hand, it is uh, the simple past to express finished events. There is no result in the present. He went to cinema two hours ago. Now he is at school. So that action finished and there is no uh, result in the present. And the last one it says it is used to uh, to um, to express and finish time words with those words like this week 
today, this year, we're going to use the present perfect. For example, I have eaten lots of plums today. Today is not over yet. Do you know what are plums? I don't know. <laughs> plums are ciruelas. Very good. Um, I really plums. like them. And uh, for the simple past, it is used with finish time words like yesterday, last week, in 2000, etc. So, for example, we didn't call him yesterday. Well, I guess everything this is clear. Maybe the only today new is thing true. is about uh, when the person is alive or dead. So now you know. Uh, questions before we continue? No. Good. A little practice. I understood. Good. A little practice then. Just to remember this. A simple present, I mean simple past yeah. or past uh, present perfect. So it's going to be number one. I. Uh, okay. I, I saw. I Every, saw a great field yesterday. Good. Everybody agrees on that? Nice. So, yes. A great film yesterday. Yes. Good. I saw a great film yesterday. Number two. Have you ever, Have you ever bought a cheap, laptop? a cheap laptop? Have you ever bought a cheap laptop? I haven't, to be honest with you. They're very expensive. Number three. I saw the fruit last winter. So, to had the flu. Uh, Very good. Had the flu last winter. To had the flu last winter. Last winter. Number five. Sorry, what is the flu? Oh, good question. What is the flu, people? It's, it's when you sick and Six. your and your nose sneezes. <laughs> yeah, when you have a runny nose and you're sneezing, it's like uh, la gripe. Oh, thanks everybody. <laughs> okay, it's a pleasure. Number four. A few days ago, ago withdraw to his uncle. Very good. Withdraw. A few yeah. days ago, withdraw to his uncle because that finished already. Number five. They played they, bingo on Wednesday. On Wednesday afternoon. They played. Very good played. because that finished. Number six. He has already has taken already the taken. bus to get there. Good. He has already taken the bus to get there. Nice. Number seven. Last week, my rabbit run, run away. Run away. Yeah, mm -hmm. simple past. What about number eight? A lot last Sunday. We did. a lot. Last Sunday. A lot last Sunday. We did a lot did. last Sunday. Nice. Number nine. Uh, has she, she ever, ever been, been, to she India? Ever been to India? Good. Has she ever been to India? Number ten. I met him last Monday. Mm -hmm. I met him last Monday. Good. Number eleven. Your connection is internet in a, in a table. <laughs> she she has hasn't wake up yet. She hasn't woke up yet. Woke up. Woke she, up. she hasn't woken up. She yet. hasn't woke up, woken up yet. Okay, woken up. Number 12. Well, I, last Sunday. I didn't I, meet her since last Thursday. Good. I, well, but this is something that maybe is continuing in the present right now. Oh, I oh yes. I haven't. I haven't met her since, since last Thursday. You use since. Very good. Nice. And number 13. Bob slept well Bob last slept. night. Bob slept well last night. Bob slept well last night. That's good. Number 14. 
I get a letter from her two I days ago. I wrote, I, I got a letter. a letter from her two days ago. Very good. I got a letter from her two days ago. Number 15. They have good. already arrived in Germany. Good. They have already arrived in Germany. Nice. I guess this is clear, right? I guess everybody understands and can use this one very well. We're going to finish with a little reading. Okay. Um, this is trying to use the two things together. We're going to repeat. Okay. Okay. I think I have had a very interesting life. I think I have had a very interesting life. I'm 73 now and I don't work anymore. I'm 73 now and I don't work anymore. I was in the army for 51 years. I was, I was in the army, army for 51 years. years. I retired when I was 69. I retired when I was 69. I have been to so many countries that I can't remember all of them. I have been to so many countries that I can't remember all of them. I've been to Australia six or seven times and to South Africa three times. I have been, I've been to Australia six or seven times and to South Africa three times. I have also been once to Russia, but I didn't like it at all. Much too cold for me. I have also been once to Russia, but I didn't like it at all, much too cold for me. They say that love is the greatest thing, and I agree. They say that love is the greatest thing, and I agree. I've been married four times, but never for more than five years. I've been married four times, but never for more than five years. I don't think women really understand me. I don't, I don't think women, women really, really understand, understand me. me. Women. I've never been on television, but I've been on the radio once. I've never been on television, but I've been on the radio once. It was a program about life in the military about 20 years ago. I was a program about life, about life in the military about 20 years ago. I met the Prime Minister on the same day. I met the Prime Minister on the same day. Actually, I've met a lot of famous people, members of the royal family, famous politicians, and also famous cinema and television personalities. Actually, I met a lot of famous people, members of the royal family, famous politicians, and also famous cinema and television personalities. I've never met the American president, though, which is a pity. I have never met the American president, though, which is a pity. Because I've traveled a lot, I've seen a lot of wonderful things, and I have also eaten and drunk some strange food and drinks. Because, because I traveled a lot, I've seen, seen a lot of wonderful things, 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 things and I have also eaten and drunk some strange food and drinks. I ate cat and rat in India and drank something called Miro in a little island in Italy many years ago. I, I ate I, cat I, and I, in, I, in I, India I, and drank something I, called Mir on a little I, island I, in Italy, I, in Italy I, many I, years I, ago. Good, good. So this is an interesting reading because it's a well, life experience, but you can see that in this kind of, I mean, when you are talking in general in, in a, uh, a common way, you are going to use all the tenses together. Simple present, for example, I think I have had. I think is simple present, right? So you are going to use simple present, present continuous. You are going to use past, present perfect, future, everything together. And that is like the basis from the English. After that, it's just some other topics for you to speak better, uh, some other things. But this is very important. If you manage this 
sentence, I mean these tenses, everything will be fine. Uh, let's check some vocabulary. I don't think there is a lot here of vocabulary. Probably the only one that I'm thinking is this one, which is a pity. Do you know what is that? Pity. I don't know. I don't remember, but I... No. Okay, when you say it's a pity, it's like it's a shame. It's, it's not good. It's, uh, I wish I could have changed that one, but it's a shame that I couldn't do it. So it's a pity. Shame. It's, a, it's a, an expression, let's say. Is that clear? Yes. No, I don't understand. Mm, do you know what is a shame? When you say, oh, it's a shame. It's like when you say, it's oh, it, it's not good. Es como vergonzoso. Something not exactly like that, but I mean, not in this context. Uh, it's like when you say in Spanish, uh, it's, it's una pena. Una pena. Mm. Okay, that is it. Uh, well, that's the only thing that I'm thinking that maybe you don't know, but do you have any questions about this? But he ate a rat and cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, there are some but... countries where, I mean, that is like common, right? It's not a big deal. So if you are going to go to another country, you need to research uh, about cultures, about traditions, about food, about sickness. That is important. Uh, just to be aware if you can get sick when you get there or when you come back. So many things you need to do whenever you go abroad. But I love cat. I don't, <laughs> I you can't don't imagine, imagine but... to eat cat. <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> I mean, that is like ducks, right? In China, they eat ducks. Yeah. But I, I don't know. I listen to about that. <laughs> yeah. But there are, there are, the good thing is that it's not that the only food that you you can try you can try many other things right yeah yes <laughs> because rats also I'm, i i don't know <laughs> i won't i won't i won't do that <laughs> okay <Ushi. laughs> let's read everybody the first uh, we're going to read everybody the first person is going to read the first paragraph the second one is going to read um yeah the second paragraph one paragraph each that is going to be okay so we can move on uh let's practice the reading uh, let's see roxana you're gonna start uh only the first read paragraph. yeah only okay read. i think i have had a very interesting life i'm 7 30 now and i don't work anymore i was in the army for five for 51 years I retired when I was 69. I have been to so many countries that I can't remember all of them. I have been to Australia six or seven times and to South Africa three times. I have also been once to Russia, but I didn't like it at all. Much to call for me. Perfect, thank you. It's going to continue, Mauricio. Yes. Uh, they say that love is the great things, and I agree. I've been married four times, four times, but never for me than five years. I don't think women really understand me. Good. Next is going to be Andrea. I've never been on television. But I've been one on the radio on. It was a program about life in the military about 20 years ago. I met the prime minister on the same day. Actually, I've met a lot of famous people, members of the royal family, famous polit politicians, and also famous cinema on television personalities. I've never met the American president, without which is a pity. Thank you. The next one is going to be um, Patricia. 
Okay. Because I've traveled a lot, I've seen a lot of wonderful things and have also eaten and drunk some strange foods and drinks. I ate cat and rat in India and drank something called Mirto on a little island in Italy many years ago. Perfect, thank you. It's going to start over Luis. I think, uh, I think I have had a very interesting life. I am 73 now and I don't work anymore. I was in the army for uh, 51 years. I retired when I was 69. I have been to so many countries that I can remember all of them. I've been to Australia six or seven times and to South Africa three times. I have also been once to Russia, but I didn't like it, it at all. Much to call for me. Thank you. Yes. Next one is for Oli. Hi, Oli. They say, they say that blog is the beating thing. I agree. I've been married four times, but I never for more than five years. I don't think women really understand me. Nice. The next one is going to be um, Josue. I have never been on television, but I've been on the radio once. One. <laughs> once. It was a program about life in the military about 20 years ago. I met the prime minister on the same day. Actually, I met a lot of famous people, members of the royal family, famous politicians, and also famous cinema and television personalities. I've never met the American president, though, which is a pity. Thank you. The next one is going to be for Antonio. Because I've traveled a lot, I've seen a lot of wonderful things and have also eaten and drunk some strange foods and drinks. I ate cats and rats in India and drank something called Myrto on a little ice line in Italy many years ago. Thank you. It's going to start Mauricio. I think I have had a very interesting life. I am 70 years now and I don't work anymore. I was in the army for 51 years. I retired when I was 69. I have been to so many countries that I can't, I, that I can't remember all, all of them. I've been to Austria six or seven times and to oh, South yeah. Africa there are times. I have also been on to Russia, but I didn't like it, it, it oh, at all. Much to call for me. Thank you. The next one is for Carlos. Hi, Carlos. I guess he has some problems with the device. Okay, uh, Joseph. Okay. They say that love is the greatest thing. And I agree. I've been married four times, but never for more than five years. I don't think women really understand me. Okay, thank you. Okay, I guess everybody has uh, read, right? Uh, yes, I think so. Okay. So this is like uh, the general review. As you were checking here, if you, as I was telling you before, if you manage these tenses, everything will be, I mean, easier for you. Just remember pronunciation. Sometimes there are some words, but there are just a few words that we have problems with. Uh, also, the tenses when we're talking, I mean, 
let's be careful on that one. Uh, we have a few minutes, uh, so we're going to practice something different. We're going to uh, do some conversations. It's going to be very easy. We're going to have different scenarios. So you are going to speak, for example, for three, four minutes. Okay? And you have to try to continue. Uh, maybe the most important thing is not to stop. Try to continue talking. Okay? We're going to do this in couples. Okay? Sometimes you are going to do it with me. Sometimes you are going to do it with a classmate. Any question about this? Whatever thing comes to your mind. Well, we're going to have some scenarios. For example, the first one are like, oh. imagine that you are friends that you haven't seen each other in 10 years. And you get together. Like, hey, hello, Roxana, how are you? Oh. And uh, you, I mean, since we don't know or we didn't see each other, well, of course you are going to tell me about your life and I'm going to tell me about my life. Something like that, okay? That is like the fifth scenario. Who wants to be in the first one, okay? Volunteers, two people, one and one to see. <laughs> Five minutes we're oh, going to talk. No. Five minutes. Anybody? I'm afraid. I'm afraid I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be afraid and don't be nervous. For first of all, remember that you are learning English. So if you made mistakes, that is nice. Don't worry. No one is going to correct you. It's important that you listen to yourself. You can also watch the video tomorrow, right? So you can see what was not good. But uh, the important thing here is to practice first and then to identify what we can do better. I understand that sometimes we are nervous, right? Uh, but that's why we are here. We're here to practice. So don't be nervous. Okay. okay. So the question is, who wants to be number one and number two? Okay. I, I'm Patrice. going to be one. <laughs> okay. Number one. Uh, anybody else wants to be number two? What I choose? Or Patricia, you can choose because you are the one who's going to do it. Okay. Roxana. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I want to. It's not do fair. This. Don't worry. Uh, no, don't be. worry. Okay, so it's going to be five minutes. And remember that you can ask any questions. You can do whatever. Five minutes. Five minutes. One minute. One minute. <laughs> That's right. It's important. Uh, if, if one person stops, the other can continue. Like, hey, tell me about whatever. You can ask anything. My brain doesn't work when I'm nervous. Just relax. <laughs> Remember that this I would like to listen first another. <laughs> okay, let's or do you? Like that. Okay, that's I good. I would like to listen to you with Patricia. Okay. I will do it with Patricia. Okay. okay. So it's going to be mm -hmm. five minutes, but I need somebody to tell to take the time. Take the time and tell me finish so we, we can stop, okay? Five minutes. Who's going to count the time? There with a clock, with a watch. Um. Anybody? Or I can see here in the computer, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna do it, don't worry. Okay, okay um, let's start right now. Um, hello. Hi. Patricia, long time no see. Yes, that's true. How, uh, where have you been all, all those years? Working, you know, working and working and working. Also, I got married and uh, I have 11 children. And uh, 11 children? <laughs> <laughs> so, Very I've been good. a little bit busy. <laughs> For that reason, you were working, working, working. Ah, you want to participate, night. that's good. <laughs> Okay. I, uh, <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> yes. okay. I mean, you can say whatever. It's, it doesn't have to be true, but it's just a practice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Patricia? Tell me about yourself. Well, I, I at the at the opposite, I I I quit of my job because I had a lot of work with my two kids. It's a very uh, tired work in home in home. 
but I um, I discovered a lot of things to do in in like uh, read a lot of books and I take a lot of courses. Well, I taking a lot of courses about a lot of things like um, uh, technological things uh, about uh, how to programming in a device and also um i'm learning english right now <laughs> very good it seems that you are also busy in a different way right with a very yes. good teacher <laughs> yes indeed. okay and uh, how old is your baby you told me that you have a baby well i actually i have two babies well, one is not too baby. Uh, my first uh, boy, uh, it's is uh, six years old, and the second is six months old. <laughs> okay. So uh, they are uh, really uh, uh, how I can tell. Uh, they they gave me a lot of work to do because they are they are really uh like uh and they had a lot of energy the two of them <laughs> so mind. they want to 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 play football they want to well the little one likes to walk and uh, he he's learning a lot of things and uh, he's learning to smile to eat and the other uh, is learning uh, a lot of, uh, how to dance and write and read and it's very interesting really to to study the first grade again yeah i have i have experienced that one as well because i mean i have to do homeworks and many other things so i i, I understand your point i know that is very fun but it's also very very busy right so at the end of the day i guess you are so tired Yes, you were in the in all the grades eleven times, do you? <laughs> yeah, in my eleven <laughs> times. <laughs> From I mean, in my how many homeworks do I do every day? <laughs> no, <laughs> that is. So, I think it's crazy, crazy. No, I think two is enough for me. <laughs> yeah. But the good thing is that the the um, the older ones they help the younger ones, so it's not that only me, right? Uh, so that is true. That is they true. collaborate and they ask each other, and only when they can't do anything, they then they come to me. Or when I I have some free time, I go and ask, "Hey, do you need some help? What are you doing?" And then we share some things. But it's not that I'm always there because that's too much. You're right. <laughs> yes, it's true because my my son that is six years old, uh, he helped me uh, a lot when I. I'm with the the youngest one. It's it's really it, he's really helping me a lot. And um, suddenly I I am cooking and I'm with the with uh, Javier that is my baby. And suddenly uh, he told me, Mom, I I want to help you. I uh, do you need some clothes or do you need the pampers or something like that? <laughs> so yeah. it's nice. It's nice. Yeah, it's very nice because they know that we need help and they want to. So that is very special that it comes from them. Yes. Yes, it's true. Okay, very Patricia, nice. it was a pleasure to uh, talk to you. I hope we can meet again and see you around. See you. Nice to see you again after yeah. a lot of years. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so do you see it was very easy? It's like a normal conversation, but in English. That's I'm the only sweating thing. right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's like that. I mean, I mean, you you start talking and you start to communicate. This is the important part in this kind of exercise, that you are going to communicate. You are going to ask, you are going to answer, and that is it. Okay? So, who wants to be number two or the next one? I think Roxy wants to be the next. Yes, I, so. <laughs> <laughs> I guess she went away. She's doing something. 
Okay, uh, the same scenario. This is going to be the same scenario uh, where you get together with a friend that you didn't see for a long time. Let's see um, who. Um, I don't know. Mauricio. Mauricio and uh, and Oli. Let's see. Roger is not here. Sorry. No estoy y no vino. <laughs> <laughs> I no have a here. Yeah, Roy is not here, but Mauricio is going to help, I know. Okay, try, no. try slow, try to just speak, and uh, it's going to be five minutes, so let's, let's Roxy, do it. Roxy, uh, Roxy, quería, I fear. Ya, ya le vamos a dar la chance a ella también. So, let's, let's do it just, uh, let's see, three minutes. Three minutes because we, I want everybody to participate and we don't have much time, but three minutes, okay? Mauricio and Oli. Hi, Oli. How are you? How are you, Mauricio? I'm very fine. I am learning English in this moment. And you? I, me too. Oh, that's right. It's a, <laughs> how do you say? Coincidence? Coincident? That's a coincidence. Yeah, a coincidence. it's coincident. Um, oh. uh, where did you from? I am from San Salvador, and you? Okay, very nice. Where does you go? Excuse me? What did you work? What did you work? Yes. And I am yeah. Baker. My work, no? Yeah, what do you I am yes. Baker. I am Baker. I, I have a lot of bread every day and, and you okay where do you where you, do you work? what did you do what did okay. You do? Uh, okay uh i work in movistar oh uh, is, is it a, a hard a hard work um Esa parte no la entendí, Eric. Estoy desde el teléfono. Okay, you can, you can, if you don't understand anything, you can say, could you please repeat? And he's going to repeat. Yes. Is it a hard work? Hard work. Yes. Um, no, very easy. Uh, is interesting. Um, I am a 12 personal um sales um clients um uh, i have present pre i am trading um today um support it is interesting re reality very easy for me oh, that is right and yes do you want to learn other language in addition for English? Um, I, li I, I like uh, um, Portuguese. Oh, that's right. I, I speak Portuguese. I know. I, I, uh, I study um, after English. Oh, that's right. Is a is a very good language. I like it. Yes. And, yes. But I I need to to learn English because I I can speak very well Portuguese, but English I don't speak very well. Yeah, uh, the uh, in, English is is um English is um very uh, different uh, Portugal Portuguese is very easy um, um, uh, I like I like English um, Portuguese um, I feel him easy yes. and you uh, I language for um, a language English or or Otro, no sé, se me acaba de olvidar. Ok, 
that is fine. I mean, you have more than three minutes right now. So it was oh, yes. very good. Yeah, only. <laughs> okay, thank you. We did it. That's good. That's good. You, you know, it's very easy. The next one is going to be a little bit different. I want to practice this. Let's see how it goes. Let's see. Just a minute. Um, you're going to do it with me. Uh, this okay. Is some, this is... <laughs> This is something I'm very. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. It's, it's something very easy. We're going to try to do a job interview. Oh my goodness. In English. <laughs> Sometimes this is something that uh, maybe in the future you are going to experience. So I guess it's a very good idea to, um, to discuss that kind of situations. Okay. 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 So I'm going to interview you. So you are going to. To answer and tell me about okay? Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, let's go for it. So, hello. Hi, how are you doing? I'm very well. Uh, what about you? Everything fine, thank you. Perfect. I'm nervous, but I'm going to do and say everything that I can do. Okay, very well. Uh, don't be nervous. We're friends here. Don't worry. So... <laughs> The first question is, um, well, tell me about yourself. Why do you want to work in this company? Uh, I want to work there because I'm um, a very nice person. I'm a very active. I'm a very responsible person. I'm honest. And I, I work with, I'm be like a leader. I don't know. Okay. Leader. Uh, I can be a leadership and I can work like under pressure. <laughs> okay. So have you worked under pressure before? Sometimes. Just how, one time. It's how, like, I'm sorry. No, go ahead, please. It's like uh, we have to do in one day. So it's under pressure because sometimes the lo logistic it's not my problem, so, but getting me problem because if the other person don't do or don't make the stuff that they can do, the problem is, is for me, right? Because I can do the things, the time that I have to do. Okay. I don't know if you understand. Yeah, definitely. And how do you handle that kind of situations? In mind that you really need to finish a report, uh, but the other people, they do not provide the information. How do you handle that? Actually, that uh, I have to run and try to, to get the info or the, the staff so I can finish my report, uh, my report the, the fast that I can, and I try to do the, my best. Okay. Uh, could you please tell me one time that you didn't succeed in your plans? Succeed? It's like not success. Uh -huh. um, maybe it's the time when it's like 7 o'clock and one event is not started. So it's under, it's under pressure because they be started at seven o'clock and was eight and never run. So like I said, the logistic is, is stressful because I'm the person that I have to do everything by myself because I can, I can be um, handling to the other person because I have to everything, uh, every time I have to check. I see. And are you, are you able to work with other people? Are you a team worker? Yes, actually that's, that's my problem because I always like, I'm like leadership and I always start to, to work and I have to implement it. Uh, the assign or assign that. Assign. Assign the the different uh, situation or uh, different um, things that they have to do, so okay. we can we can do the best the best job, and 
present the best thing that for for our job or for our work. I see. Uh, are you willing to work on weekends? Yes. Actually, I don't like it. But if I have to work, I do it. <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> because I said the Sunday is for the family. But sometimes we have to work. I can do it. Okay, perfect. Okay, that is it. So how do you feel, Josephine? <laughs> so nervous because sometimes it's like we have to think so many things in, in Spanish, but we don't know. Uh, in my, my case, is my big problem. I don't have to technical vocabulary, so that's harder. So it's like I said before, I just know uh, strict, strict English, and it's just uh, easy, easy words. Yeah. And with that type, it's like harder because it's like um, job inter interview. So we have to, to know different kind of words. Yeah, I know that sometimes, depending on the situation, sometimes it's harder. But the good thing is that we can practice. So these are things that we can continue practicing. Um, and, um, well, it was very good. I mean, everybody did a very good job uh, by, by talking. Sometimes, well, it's not the same to read, to prepare something, uh, than, I mean, to start speaking with somebody just like that. So I know that it's kind of, but it was pretty good. And well, I think this... it's better with friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. That is much better. Um, it's like we can talk like, like whatever we can talk. Yeah. But with true. that kind of person with a job or with somebody that we don't know, it's like we have to do more respect. Yeah. So we can do so many words, like we can say it with friends. That is That's true. what I think. Perfect. Okay, so this was the last practice, my friends. I was, uh, well, I thought it was going to be with more time, but uh, actually yeah. we are out of time. So my friends, it was a pleasure. Before we finish, any question, anything that you does, want? Does she get, does she get a, a job? Definitely, yeah, <laughs> she's hired. <laughs> she speaks well, I think. Uh, I I guess, cable TV. <laughs> I watch TV, Eric. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that is a good. good. I series Netflix. <clears throat> Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> okay, my friends. So, if there is no other question, any other thing, uh, it was a pleasure to be with you this uh, month, these four weeks. Today is our last class of this module. Um, of course, if you need anything in the future, you can type with me. You can send me a message. We don't know if we are going to be together, but if we are together in the next model, of course, it will be a pleasure to continue helping you. Okay. It was a pleasure for me to study with you, teacher. Thank you. I I um, learned a lot with you. Thanks. Okay. And and when I worked in the platform too, I liked. Um, I enjoy uh, <clears throat> working in the in the platform, and yeah. I learn a lot. Learned Thank a lot. Thank you. Well, it's a pleasure. It was a pleasure, and I'm yeah. very happy that you learned. Uh, thank you, teacher, for your teaching. Uh, for me, it's very valuable, uh, very ah. important. And uh, thank you. Thank you for your words. It's a pleasure to have you, and I'm very happy that you are happy about. Of what we have done here together. Nice. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, very Great job. Thank you, Oli. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you, thank you for everything. You. See, you, uh, see you last, last, last weekend. We hope we oh. see you the next week. The, well, I mean, the next, yes. the next level. <laughs> yeah, that would be yes. good. Sure. <clears throat> yes. And we are continuing in, in the same group in the um, in another level sometimes they change people sometimes they mix um, so probably some of them they are going to be together or probably you are going to have some other people new but that depends on many things okay <laughs> okay my friends so it was a pleasure again uh, have a good night and um, see you around
Have a nice weekend as well. Thank you, good Eric. Night, nice. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Have a good weekend. Good, good. good night, good night. everybody. Good night. 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 Good night.